All right, so I'm gonna show you how to insert a cordis. So first step is to flush a cordis. So you need to take the cap off the end, get some sterile saline flush and flush it through. And then clip it. You then need to flush the dilator with sterile saline. And with these, instead of dilating separately like a central line, a triple lumen, uh, you insert the dilator into the cordis ahead of time. You'll do the same thing like a triple lumen, straight the patient. prep them and then uh, once uh, you use Quora prep use the ultrasound to find your landmarks with these we're either going to be going for the femoral vein or the uh, internal jugular in the neck for that there's two different needles there's a smaller finder needle for the IJ and the larger finder needle for the femoral. Um, if there's time you can uh, use lidocaine to numb up the area. You will then use your finder needle and ultrasound going in at 45 degrees following the needle tip until you get flash. Once you get flash, stabilize, remove the syringe and then use your guide wire. And insert it. Remove your needle. Confirm placement of the wire with the ultrasound. Use your scalpel to make a small nick in the skin. This needs to be a little bigger than the one used when you make uh, a nick for a triple lumen. And then you're going to thread the wire through the dilator and the chorus itself. Now the key with this is you're going to insert everything and hub it. So dilator and cordis all the way in. Once it's in, you're going to remove the wire and the dilator itself. Release your clamp. And actually, before releasing the clamp, make sure you attach a lure lock to the end or blood will go uh, everywhere. So I have a lure lock here. And you can release, aspirate, and make sure it aspirates blood freely, and then flush it. And then the last step with these, after suturing it in place here, is to put this little cap on the end to keep it sterile. This just goes on. Like that. And that's it.